hi everybody hi everybody. hi how, how do you feel today i feel fine thank you and you i'm good um are you ready for another online session ready of course okay good uh let me ask about the list of the participants who uh who haven't worked on the platform let me see if they are here um carlos ruben melendez is here no Gerson Rubén Pérez. Is here Gerson Rubén. Luis Alonso Palacios. Yes, presente. Luis Alonso Palacios. Sí. Usted ya, ya avanzó un poquito o hasta la sección 2, por lo menos, en la plataforma. Y fíjense que he estado este, avanzando, pero así salteado, no lo he llevado en orden. Ah, ok. Y hoy en la noche espero eh, hacer el test que, que dijo ayer. ¿no? Ah, el, el mister. Sí. Bueno, está bien. Eh, lo importante es que vaya avanzando en la plataforma, porque ya pasó la... Estamos... Uh, en la clase número 6 y los participantes deben de ir avanzando, ¿verdad? Sí, bueno. voy a tratar de avanzar en estos días ya, porque no me no había tenido a la plataforma hasta ayer, pero... Ah, ok, sí, no había tenido acceso. Ya, ya por... Sí, no había tenido acceso. Bueno, bueno. Y otros, Mario Fabio Quintanilla. Is here Mario Fabio Quintanilla? No, no, it's, it's not here. And the last one, Rodrigo Antonio Melendez. Are you here, Rodrigo? Bueno. Eh, lo importante es de que la mayoría ya hayan avanzado y algunos hasta ya terminaron con el examen, el examen final también. Y eso es lo importante porque aquí nos vamos a conectar a, a nada más a, a clarify your doubts and to practice. So, eh, gracias por estar aquí. Thank you for being here one more time. Today is uh, the last day of the week, the last class of the week. So finally it's Thursday. And how was your week going, guys? How is your week going? How are you doing this week? Are you doing well? Uh, are you having difficulty with something? Difficult times. Are difficult times. Yes, because it's Thursday. Uh, we all, I guess, uh, feel a little bit tired. But keep going, guys. Uh, do this sacrifice. Uh, we have uh, only one hour a day from Monday to Thursday. So it's nothing, one hour uh, you can dedicate to study English and to practice. So thank you for being here and we are going to begin. Uh, yesterday we were, working, we were working in the platform and we are going to uh, start where we left. Okay, we were here in the knowledge, knowledge check. And we are going to develop this exercise. Um, I guess most of you have already done this. How did you feel this exercise? 
was it easy? How did you feel the difficulty? It was a little easy. Was a little easy. Yes, because you already started this topic, the comparative. So we are going to just feel with the correct Thank answer. You. Okay. Okay. And the instructors, you are going to look at these pictures and you are going to complete the following exercises using the comparative adjectives. So let, let's begin. Uh, the first one, uh, which dress is pretty prettier? Prettier. 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 The second one. Yes. Can you read the the complete sentence? Which, which dress? Okay. Pardon. Yeah, which, dress, which dress is prettier, the yellow, the yellow one or the green one? The yellow one or the green one? And which one do you uh, do you think is prettier? The green one. Do you like the the green one? more yes yes it's prettier than the yellow one yes. and letter b well the green one is silk and the seal and silk is more, more expensive than, than more expensive or yes more expensive than or expensive here than is no. more expensive more obviously. expensive yeah. expensive year doesn't exist so we always say more expensive. Uh, and number two, is this blue teacher larger than or more larger than? Larger, larger than. than. Larger than. Larger than. Yes, because more larger, uh, we don't use that when the adjective is short. In this case, large, is uh, an adjective that has only one syllable. So we use the normal form, larger than. Letter B. Uh, no, the red uh, and white is one. I mean, no, the red and white is one of, is one is? Bigger. 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 Is bigger the red one? What is the red one? The red and white, red and white. This one is bigger. It has two colors. Two colors, yes. Red and white, and I mean, yes, red and white is bigger. It's not more big. Number three, look at these pants. Which one do you like? Which better. one do you like better, better or which one do you like good? Better. 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 Nice. I prefer the green cotton ones. They are more stylish than, or they are stylish than the wool ones. More stylish. Than. More stylish than. More stylish than. Because it's stylish is a long adjective. Okay, let's let's submit. And I know that you have worked on this before, so obviously all the answers are correct. So let's continue. If you don't have any question with this topic, we are going to advance with the other one. Okay, this was the last topic of section three. Then we have the midterm that, how many of you have done the, the midterm? Say me or, 
Yes, I I I don't. I I did. You you did that. Yes. If you have already done the midterm, uh, type uh, ah. I did it in the chat. I did it like this. Just to see how many of you have already done the, the meter. Mm -hmm. Sylvia have done this. Who else? Also Rodrigo, Manuel Orellana, Rodrigo Daniel, Manuel de Jesus. Only two. Only one, two, three, four, five. Only five. Okay, no problem. You have time to do the meter. Uh, you have this week to do that. So when we start on Monday, on Monday, next Monday, we are going to check the, the meter. So if you can do that, tonight or tomorrow, that would be perfect. Okay, nice. We're going to skip this part because we are, we won't do this today, tonight. And we will be beginning with the section number four. Section four is here. Okay, what are we going to do in this session? Let's, let me ask uh, to, to Oscar Ortega, what are we going to do in this session? What? What is the lesson ob objective for this, for this session? Okay. In this lesson, participants. In this lesson, participants will listen to a, a conversation exp expressing like and this, this like. And dislike. And dislike. Like and dislike. Like when you like a picture on Facebook or when you dislike a picture. On, on Facebook. Dislike is the opposite of the like, creo. Yes, is the the opposite of like, or something that that you don't like. Something that you don't like. So let's okay. watch this video about like and dislikes about music. Wait a minute, please. Okay, listen carefully. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation expressing likes and dislikes. Welcome to our section four. Do you like rap? To begin our class, I want you to pay close attention to the following conversation. Notice how they ask questions using do and how they answer. Again, this conversation introduces us to Simple Present. I really like pop music. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. On the discussion box, I want you to share with us what kind of music do you listen to or like? Okay, good. Do you like rap music, guys? Yes, I do. I like oh, it. Sure. Oh, Manuel. I dislike it. Who likes uh, rap rap music? 
say in my case i don't like you don't you don't like in the chat say i like rap music if you like rap music or say the kind of music that you like in the chat for example i like hip hop music I like his hot music. That's my favorite music. Also raps sometimes. Manuel like cumbia music, Herson like electronic music, Silvia likes pop music, Manuel Orellana like rap music and pop music as well. Brenda like pop music. Okay, nice. We have different preference, but uh, I guess most of most of us like music, any kind of music, and that's good because music is uh, very fun to listen because we get out out of stress. We feel uh, happy when when we listen music, when we listen to music, and good classical music classical and instrumental music as well are very good also rock rock music okay fine guys in the following section we are going to talk about like and dislike and we will review the structure so this is the presentation for today today is uh thursday july 22nd and this is the class number six. So let's see what we have for today. We have the topic likes and dislikes. And okay, can you read the concept somebody? Let me ask to, to Harrison Ruben. Can you read this paragraph? There is a whole range of English expression. Okay. Can you help me? Like, okay. Like and dislike. There is a whole so range much. of English expression. about how much you like or dislike something. Okay. Thank you. There is a whole range of English expression uh, you can use to talk about how much you like or dislike something. Do you know what is whole? A whole range. The word whole, this word whole, that means complete, complete, like the whole class, the complete class. So there are a lot of expressions in English to say that we like or dislike something. For instance, is if you love something, love is more than like. You love something. You can say, I love eating ice cream or I love eating pizza, something that you really love. Uh, can you continue reading the, the next ex expression, please? Sulma, can you help me with the other ones? Yes, teacher. Um, I... This one. I don't know how to I adore somebody. I, I adore somebody. I adore. I adore somebody. Somebody. I adore somebody. Adore. Adore. Yes, it's almost in Spanish this word. I adore somebody. I adore somebody. Yes. Thank you. Okay, thank yeah. you to you. Teacher, what is the meaning somebody? Somebody is like a when you take a bath, a normal bath, uh, you, you, do, do, you do that with water. And when you take some bathing, 
when you go to the beach um, and you lay in the sun and you are taking the sun so you can get a, a different tone in on your skin um, that is a sun bathing okay it's okay. a bronceado in spanish okay. sun bathing okay next one silvia or sandra patricia yeah Yes, I, I do. Are you she's here? mad okay. about she's mad about the new boy band. She's mad about that new boy band. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is mad about? She's mad oh. about. She's also. Uh, <laughs> no, remember that we are talking about something that. Uh, we love or something that we really like look at the emoji it's like in in, in love es como estar eh, loca por el, no, el muchacho de la banda de la yes. about the new band boys. I don't know. yes is that it's like when someone is crazy about a boy is very in, in love. So that is mad about. Como like enloquecido. Por alguien. Yes. Repeat again, please. Es como encantado. Yes. Uh, it's like that as well. That can be uh, another meaning like that so next one i can read this one okay go ahead he's crazy about the girl he's crazy about that girl is like this one that is very in love of that girl so that means that you like or they like they love more than more than life they love the things so there, there are uh, a lot of uh like um let's say a lot of ways to say that you like something for example this one if you like something a lot if you like something very much, you can say, she's fond of chocolate. She's fond of chocolate, that she really loves chocolate as well. Or mm -hmm. I like swimming very much. I like swimming very much. I like swimming. Very much. Okay, read. Uh, this one, please, somebody. The last one. Me. Okay. He really likes that new golf course. Remember to stress really in this sentence. In this sentence. Okay. In the sentence. Look at this, really. Remember really. to stress really in this sentence. Uh, when we say stress, it's like, a uh, different kind of intonation. For example, he really likes that that new golf course. He really likes. Look at the sun. He really likes that new golf course. That is a uh, stress in the word really. As well on this one, she is fond of, of chocolate. She is fond of chocolate. We pronounce that uh, a little bit higher than the other words to make emphasis that we really like something. Next one, if you like something is like a normal like, you just like, you don't love, you don't like a lot, but you like something. For example, he quite likes going to the cinema he quite like going to the cinema. 
And I like cooking. Is um, something that you don't love, that you don't like a lot, but you like. And in this this one, if you neither like nor dislike something, that something is indifferent for you, you say, I don't mind doing the housework. I don't mind. I I it's indifferent to me. I can do that, and there is no problem with that. Also, uh, can you can help me? Can someone help me, please? With the last one. In reply to a question, if you like something or not, you can say as well this expression, these two. Can you please help me? I don't I really care either way. Okay, good. I don't really care uh, either way. I don't really care either way. And the last one. It's all the same to me. It's all the same to me. It's all the same to me. Like you don't care doing something. You don't mind, you don't have problems with that, doing that. So you don't lie, but uh, you as well dislike doing some activities. Okay, I want to hear you. What do you like and what do you love? For example, I like playing basketball a lot. Tell me something that you like or you love or you like uh, normal, something that is indifferent to you. Teacher, in my case, I love a lot of things. For example, I like to play soccer with my friend. I like play video game, um, etc. Yeah, like playing video games. That's a good uh, hobby. <laughs> For young people and as yeah. well adults in my hobby in my free time that is your favorite hobby uh, okay listen to music etc listening to music you like? as well but you like at... okay what do you like some coffee <laughs> you like you like drinking coffee that is a good example as well because I like coffee too. And Sandra says that she loves traveling. What is what is Sandra here? Where do you love traveling, Sandra? Where? Where? I, I love traveling, but I, I don't have money. <laughs> but you don't have money. But, but I, I, I travel, I, I was, how do you say? I, I travel in by training in my work. By training. Ah, for trainings. You travel for training, for, for training mm -hmm. because of your job. Mm -hmm. And what kind of places do you like visiting? Uh, I visit Korea, Mexico. Oh my God, really? Have yes. you gone to Korea? Korea? Yes, Korea. And how was your experience there? It's a exciting country. It's este, modern. It's very modern. 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 Mm -hmm. It's very advanced in, in technology as well in the industry. Interesting. Teacher, mm -hmm. I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, what is your question? In your, in your case, uh, what thing do you do in your free time? What oh, do you like yeah. to do? In my case, I like uh, sleeping when I have the, the free time. But when I want to go out with my friends, I like visiting the mountains as well, the beaches. And going to drink something like a coffee or, or something like that and, and talk about 
how is life going? That is what I do in my free time. As well, I like watching sports, like soccer and basketball, watching TV when I am at home. Those are my hobbies. And also I am studying at the university, so I have to study for the midterm and to do the homework and things It's like okay, that. Teacher. Thank you for asking. Okay. Uh, You're welcome. Does somebody else want to share what they like or what they love? Do you love spending time with your family? Yes, I do. You yeah. do. You love yeah. spending time with your family. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. nice. I like to I like to take care of my garden. I love plants. Oh, so you many love plants, plants. And, and flowers. Yeah. I just... Nice. I have so many plants. <laughs> like my mom, she really loves flowers yeah. and plants. Yeah. That's very nice. Yeah. Okay, nice. Thank you guys for sharing your likes. And now we are going to talk about dislikes. dislikes things that we don't like for example if you don't like something uh, you can express that like this she doesn't like cooking very much she doesn't like cooking very much as well he is not very fond of doing the gardening the opposite of Sylvia hobbies. She's yes. he is not very fond of doing the gardening. So he yeah. doesn't like taking care of the garden. As well, he's not a great fan of football. He's not a great fan of football. So he doesn't like football. And horse reading isn't really his thing. Do you understand this uh, expression? Isn't really his thing. What does this mean? Isn't really his thing. For example, I can say, uh, running isn't really my thing because uh, I don't like running very much so i'm not going at running yes exactly like that it's not my thing so that means that he doesn't like doing that and simple i can say i dislike waste wasting time i dislike In, instead of saying, I don't like wasting time, it sounds fancier if you say, I dislike. It sounds better. Okay, do you get this point? Yes, correct. It's, yes. It, we can say she dislikes cooking. She dislikes cooking as well. It's a, another example, another way to say that uh, someone doesn't like uh, anything. Okay, let's see. Another. If you, really, if you really dislike something that you hate, that you don't really like, <laughs> you can say, I don't like sport at all. And can you continue reading, please? He can't stand his boss. He can't stand his boss. What is can't stand? What is the meaning of this? Como no soporta. No, no, no. Yes, exactly. He can't stand his boss. 
Dad, le cae mal el jefe. <laughs> que al solo verlo ya está enojado. It's like that. He can stand his boss. Uh, for example, in my case, I can stand doing a, a file in a bank or in a cell phone company. I can stand waiting. I really hate that, waiting for something. Can you tell me some, some examples that you uh, can stand? I can stand in a traffic. You can stand, um, traffic. I will say, I can stand traffic jam, the traffic jam in the morning. Yes. Or in the afternoon, after oh, you work. Or I can't stand liar people. You can't stand liar people. You hate them. Mm -hmm. It's very disgusting. Yes, liar people. As well, we can say she can bear cooking in a dirty kitchen, in a dirty kitchen. She can't bear cooking. This doesn't mean the, the animal bear. It's an expression that goes together with can. So we say can't can. bear. She can't can bear cooking bear. In, in a dirty kitchen. For example, I can't bear <laughs> working in a disorganized place, in a disorganized office. If you work in an office, uh, you dislike, you don't really like working in a very disorganized office. Teacher, it's correct to say this sentence. Um, I hate to do, uh, I hate to do my, my breakfast. I hate to do my, your breakfast. Your breakfast. See, sí, my breakfast. Uh, the meal. Um, that would sounds better if you say, I hate doing my breakfast. Doing. Doing. I hate doing. For example, In I present hate. Continue. Yes. For example, I hate uh, playing golf. For example, after hate, we use uh, ENG, ENG to the following verb. Okay. Okay. Or for hey, example, sure. okay, tell me. Eh, ese no sería present continuo. No sería presente continuo, sino que sería para quitar el tu, ¿verdad? Yes, to omit oh. the, the, the to. So that, there are some rules. Hay alguna regla de que after a word, después de algunas palabras, usamos ing. Y no necesariamente es porque sea present continuo. For example, I can say I love playing basketball y no significa me gusta jugando basketball significa I love uh, oh, uh, me encanta jugar basketball uh -huh. and we say playing playing basketball but in Spanish is me gusta jugar basketball o me encanta jugar basketball so and not this not necessarily uh, is a present continuum sentence. Okay, let's continue. I hate crowded places. Crowded. What is crowded? Many people. Yeah. Many. Full of people. Full. Very crowded. Mm -hmm. A lot of people in the same place. Mm -hmm. It's stressing as well. And as well, who wants to read this one? He, did, he detests being late. 
eat the test being late. It's annoying when you are late to a place. You feel very uh, frustrated. For example, when you are in a traffic jam that you, can, you can't do anything. So you have to relax. So you will get sick about the stress. So don't get angry easily. Try to manage your stress. And this one is this one is very uncommon word. Can you read this one? She loves celery. She loves loves celery. As well as something that she dislikes. So this is just for uh, the test uh, a lap you. Yes, it's like that. She loves celery. Those are uh, very uncommon words. Okay, uh, if you want to share what you don't like, you can type. Uh, you can type some some examples in the chat. If you want to express your examples in the chat or either here you can also uh talk here so tell me what you don't like in general what are some things that you don't like that you hate for example i hate hot places I hate hot places. And now it's very hot. Do you have any other example? Rafael? Do you have any anything that you hate or you dislike? Uh, uh... Uh, I hate a uh, uh, place when there's are very very people uh, like crowd I, crowded 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 places yes. crowded places and, uh, the, uh, I hate uh, the the place when uh, there is uh, very noise you ha you hate noisy noisy places yeah right yeah. it's annoying uh, i love uh, the place like uh, a garden like the church when Very, i feel so good so you like uh quiet pl places quiet quiet places yeah is the opposite of noisy, noisy places. Yeah, yeah. For example, Brenda said she dislikes DC movies. Why do you dislike DC movies? Um, I don't know. I I don't have another example. Okay, uh, and what kind of movie? What kind of movie do, do you like? Horror movie. Horror movies. Yes. Okay, nice. And Harrison say he hates uh, wake up early. In this case, we can also say uh, I hate waking up early. Waking up early. Alejandra says I love garlic. And Sandra says, I dislike terror movies. Okay, nice boy. Okay, if you don't have any other examples, let's continue. Let's continue with the next slide. 
and uh, we are going to watch a video in the on the platform. Or we are going to develop the following exercise that follows this video. So what we are going to do is, um, okay, the, the purpose is by the end of this lesson, you will be able to ask questions in simple present using do or does along with uh, WH question words. So we already done this before. So you have uh, the knowledge. We are going to review one more time. So let, let's pay attention. At the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask questions in simple present using do and does along with WH question words. We will get ready to ask two types of questions, yes, no questions and WH questions. On your notes, please jot down both auxiliaries as we go over them. Remember, we use these auxiliaries for simple present tense in questions and negative answers. Yes, no and WH questions with do. Do you like rap? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. No, I don't like it very much. What kind of music do you like? I like rock a lot. Does he play the piano? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. What does he play? He plays the guitar. Do they like the Beatles? Yes, they do. They love them. No, they don't like them very much. Who do they like? They like you too. Object pronouns. Me. You. Him. Her. It. Us. Them. Did you notice both auxiliaries? Do and does? Do. Does. Did you notice the changes that occurred when we used the auxiliary in a question for third person singular? Thus, he play the piano. If not, play the video again until you understand it. Keep in mind that whenever we use does, the verb goes back to its base form. Something I want you to understand is when the question being asked uses a WH question word, it means we need more information when answering. In this class, as already mentioned, we're talking about two kinds of questions. Check it out. Do you like Madonna? Yes, I do. No, I don't. What does she sing? She sings pop music. Understand is when the question be. Okay, just to review, just to uh, to remind you about the use of do and does. We use do to talk about uh, like a second person or in plural noun. For example, do you like rap? And we use does when there is a, a third person. Does he play the piano? And when we use the auxiliary does, the main verb uh, doesn't uh, doesn't need the s. So we say, does he play the piano? Play is in the, in the normal base, in the normal uh, form. And if we ask wh question, uh, we want to hear more information not only one yes or no. We want to, to know more about the thing that we are asking. So let's see. The next section, uh, there is an exercise. There's an uh, knowledge check. So you will read the following sentences and you will complete it by using do, does, don't or doesn't, or an object pronoun. For example, it, uh, them, uh, like this. We will see in the exercise. So the number one, what do. is in, in here? Do. 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 Do
you like science? Do you like science? Okay, nice. Fiction movies? Do you like science fiction movies? Science fiction movies? I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. And the third one, I don't like what they then, don't like. Don't like the movies. Then, then. They don't like the movies, but we use the them. The object them. pronoun pronoun is them. 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 I don't like them very much. And in here is a question. Uh, we have Jake, the, the subject. Subject yes. is, is Jake. Do. So it's a. Do pair. Jake and Lisa like soap operas? Do or do? Do. 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 Oh, we, have uh, both, do. we have two do. subjects. It's a plural subject. Because it's they. they. Jake and Lisa is. Yeah. So we use they. Or, I mean. Do Jake and Lisa do. like. Sub up sub opera. Sub up. Okay, we say do. And in here, Jake does or doesn't. Doesn't. Jake doesn't, but I don't know about this. I don't know about this one. Why don't you ask? Him or yeah. her? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Why, why don't you ask her? Her. Sure. What kind of music Noriko and Ethan Do. like? Do. Do. Noriko and Ethan like. What kind of music do they like? Yes. What does? What does in the place? What does she play? In the five is uh, incorrect. Why? The spelling. Yeah. The spelling was incorrect. Thank you. Okay. And number nine. The silo. I have this new CD. Let's listen to to the CD. It. We, we can say it. 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 Okay. After let's let's listen, listen. to Andrea Bocelli. I love him. I love him. Her. Her or him? He. Him. 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 I love him. Okay. Um, let's, let's uh, Andrea Bocelli is um. I mean, is a boy because. <laughs> Here he said he is the best. Oh yeah, he is the best. I feel okay, good, very nice. And let's see, what time is it? Is a fifty-two. We have a couple of minutes to work on this. Let's see what we have in the next next uh, slide. Is intonation question, but I want to to share with you this. Okay, mm -hmm. I have um, an activity, so you don't get bored about the class. Can you see? The tongue twister. Uh, yes. Have you ever uh, tried tongue twister? No. What is a tongue twister in Spanish? Trabalenguas. Oh, it's a trabalenguas, right? Okay, what is it? Here it is. So I need some volunteers to try to, to say this tongue twister as fast as you can. As fast as you can. So you have to 
to read that very fast. Some volunteers? I can I, I can try. Manuel will try. Okay, listen to Manuel. Yeah. A big bug beat the little beetle, but the little beetle beat the big bug back. <laughs> <laughs> very nice. Uh, can you repeat it again? A little bit <laughs> fast, faster. A little bit faster. A little bit bit faster. <laughs> A big book beat the little beetle, but <laughs> no, no, but little, I little bit, I... yeah, big book back. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. Book. Okay. <laughs> Thank book you, Manuel. Uh, another participant that wants to try it. I would like to try it too. Okay, let's go. A bit, but bit, the little bit, but the little bit, the bit, the bit, but back. <laughs> Very nice. Very well. Can you say the pronunciation uh, is bad? I don't know. This one is a uh, big uh, back, bit the little beetle, bit the little beetle, like the beetle. Little, little, little. The but the little beetle beetle, beetle beetle beat the big bug book. <laughs> ah, no. uh, it's incorrect. The big teacher, book bug. Can you, teacher, can you read very fast? <laughs> I will try. It's, it's very confusing. It's okay. I, I will try. So let's see. A big book beat the little beetle, but the little beetle beat the big book bug. Nice. It's, yeah. It's like that. It's what I was looking. Is is something difficult. So one more volunteer, because the next one is is uh, more difficult. Me then. Okay. <laughs> A big book with the little bit, put the little bit bit the the big book back. <laughs> <laughs> nice, really nice. One more time, please. Let's see if you can repeat that. Me, teacher. Okay, Juan. A big book beat the little beetle, beetle, but the little beetle beat the big book back. Okay, very nice. Uh, if you can see if you practice, you can uh, you can tell it faster. You can read it faster. So let's see the other one. This one is uh, with a more difficult level. So some volunteer to try with this. Or I can choose a volunteer. I will choose someone. I would like to try again. How do you pronounce <laughs> proper? This one, proper. Yeah. Like this, proper. Proper. Or like one is a proper cup of coffee. Um, yeah. Thanks. And this is copper. Proper copper. I would like to try again. Manuel. Okay, let's listen to Manuel. Wow. Okay. The mic, the, the microphone is up, open. Okay, I will boot you all. Okay, Manuel, go ahead. <coughs> all I want is for upper cup of coffee made in a proper copper. <laughs> okay, again, again. All I want is a proper cup of coffee made in a proper copper coffee pot. I may be of our no, I can't. I can't do it. I may be. I can't like try. Do it. Okay, try it. I would like to try. All I want. Saul. Okay, go ahead, Saul, and then <clears throat> I guess me. I want to try. Okay, first Saul, and then Brenda. Okay. Go ahead, Saul. Okay. All I want is a proper 
cup of, of coffee made a proper copper coffee pot and maybe of my dog, but I want a cup of coffee from a proper coffee pot. Very nice. Like Eminem. <laughs> like, yes, like rapping. Yes. <laughs> you are a rapper. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Uh, and let's listen to Brenda. Okay. All I want is a proper cup of coffee made in a proper copper coffee pot. I may be off my dog, but I want a cup of coffee from a proper coffee pot. Very good, Brenda. She was very clear with the pronunciation. And um, I guess it was um, a very good exercise. So you don't get bored with the class. I will try to bring you activities like this for the next classes. And if you want to um, recommend me something, you can do that. And I will, I will prepare some, some activities. Okay, guys, if you don't have any okay. question about today's topic uh, we will stop here and I hope you have a good night and thank you for coming and also have a good weekend enjoy your weekend your Friday and try to study try to advance in the platform and see you on Monday Okay, teacher. See you on Monday. Thanks for the class. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you. Take care. Bye. Good Thank night. you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. See you on Monday. See you on Monday. Bye, guys.